Good morning, Monterey. Today is April 28th and it is a day five. Please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention class of 2023, junior year is right around the corner. That means prom is just a year away and we are kicking our fundraiser into high gear. The class of 2023 is running a snap raise campaign beginning April 8th and running through May 6th. Sign up through the link in your school email. Class participation is highly encouraged and funds will go directly towards the class 2023 prom. Alert, day for the color on change. Attention all Monomo students, are you tired of being stuck inside? Spring is here and it's time for the class 2023's first annual color run. You can run, jog, or walk, but well, let's all do something together. Save the day for this event. The color run will begin Tuesday, May 4th at 4.30 p.m. and will span two and a half miles around the school and on school grounds. It is recommended that people wear white because there will be powder color thrown onto them onto throughout the run. The sign-up fee is $15, and there will be a Google sign-up form sent out to everybody soon through the email. The winner will receive a prize. Please contact Ms. Manning, Ms. Jones, or any of the class officers if you have any questions. Go Sharks. Students in M Mr. Brown's distance learning seminar have been making timelines illustrating social change movements. Eighth grader, Emerson Adamson's research, the one you see here. It shows some advances made towards equality for members of the LGBTQ community. But here's a news flash. While Massachusetts was the first state to legalize marriage for gay couples, true equality for LGBTQ people is a long way away. In many states, for instance, it is illegal to deny housing to gays and transgender people. Florida is one of the 27 states that have no law protecting LGBTQ people from discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodations. To make fair future possible, the House of Representatives has passed a bill, HR5, which prohibits discrimination based on sex, sexual orientation, and gender identify in areas including public accommodations, facilities, education, federal funding, employment, housing, credit, and the jury system. If this bill passes the Senate, it will be a major step towards justice for your gay, trans, and bisexual relatives, neighbors, and friends. Are you interested in learning how today's pop artists such as Childish Gambino, Kendrick Lamar, and more are bringing philosophy and ideas of Thoreau, Emerson, and Whitman in today's world? If you want to take a great class of Miss Doyle that's actually in person, has the past year left you academically unstimulated? Miss Doyle is back to teach it a special passion of hers after school, starting the first week of May. It is free and it's free transportation to get you home after the class. This is a great way to end the school year. Most of our classes will be outside. Woohoo. We'll be getting our vitamin D, sharing reflections, writing hip hop lyrics, discussing some of the big questions of life, learning of the three greatest American minds and producing music videos. Interested in the jumpstart or love of learning words this summer? Email Ms. Doyle at lfortedoyle at monomoy.edu to tell her which two weeks are the best for you. Now to the Ad Lucum Root Word of the Week. Hola a todos. Today's Ad Lucum Root Word of the Week is popul slash dem. Both roots refer to people. On the Latin side for popul, we have the following derivatives, popular, depopulate, and vox populi. On the Greek side, dem. Uh, the derivatives are democracy, demagogue, and pandemic. Adios, amigos. Thanks, Mr. Smeltzer. Over vacation, football beat SJP 8-6. to six. Way to end the season on a win. Congrats to April's Scholar Athletes of the Month, Tyler Potter and Jasmine Silva. Now to Caroline with the weather. Thanks, James. For weather today, it is partly cloudy with a high 58 and a low 47. Thursday, you can expect some showers with a high 54 and a low 49. Then on Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high 61 and a low 47. That's all for weather. Now to Emily with some news. Thanks, Caroline. A farmer in Ireland found a stone-lined passageway while turning over his fields. 
This passageway was later found out to be a stone tomb dated to be made between 2000 BCE and 500 BCE. The tomb was found in pristine condition and was given over to the Museum of Ireland to be further investigated. That's all for today, Monomoy. Have a great day.